everybody. So today we're going to be making chicken Mozambique with rice and french fries. This is going to be quarantine edition, so I'm working with what I got here. So you guys, whatever you have at home, use what you got too. Okay? everything off I have some french fries in the air fryer for when we need that we also have instant bag rice olive oil salt pepper to season two cans of beer you guys can use white wine if you need then we got Frank's Red Hot some Goya seasoning as well as two tablespoons of butter lemon about one tablespoon of garlic minced garlic and then a medium onion and then this is about a pound and a half to two pounds of cubed chicken. All right guys, so we're starting off on medium high heat with a pan, something that's a little bit deep. So when we're making our sauce, it has enough room. I have about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. We're going to start off by putting in the onion. We're going to let that cook until it's somewhat translucent. As this is cooking, we're gonna add in a little bit of salt and pepper. I season things as I go, and never all at once. So a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of salt. If you have pink salt, you can use pink Himalayan salt as well. When this is almost translucent, we're gonna add in our garlic for a little bit of flavor, and then our chicken. Alright, so now that our onions are nice and cooked, we're going to throw in our garlic. And we're going to toss in our chicken. Let this cook until everything starts to become white. You don't want to cook it all the way through because once we start making the sauce, then it's going to taste like rubber. So when it's nicely coated, everything's white, then we're going to add in the beer or the white wine. Okay, guys, so this is what we want our chicken to be looking like at this point. While it's at that point, I'm going to have the water starting to boil over here. That way everything finishes up at the right time. So now to this, we're going to be adding in one can of beer. I like to have a lot of sauce, so I might add in half with another one. And then we're going to let the alcohol on this cook out. We're gonna let this simmer on here for about 10 minutes. As this is cooking down a little bit, we're gonna add in our Goya packets. And I'm going to also season it with a little bit of salt and pepper.
point, I like to add in a little bit of hot sauce. Add as much as you want. If you don't like hot sauce, skip it. Just going to stir that and then put the fire down so this simmers. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. We're gonna let our rice cook and our french fries and then we'll be back to top everything off. and our fries are almost finished about another like eight minutes um this has been on here for a good 10 minutes so far now we're gonna be taking this off the stove but before we do i'm gonna add in two tablespoons of butter i'm gonna add a little bit more hot sauce because i like it spicy and guys this is optional but if you have any banana peppers or um, you don't like them, then you don't have to put them. I like them, so I'm going to be putting a little bit of that in there. And then we're going to be taking this off the stove. Try not to get the juice of the banana peppers in there. I just want the peppers. Once the butter melts, we're going to be squeezing in half of a lemon into it at the very end. I also like to top mine off with parsley, but quarantine life, I don't have any, so we're gonna do without it. And then feel free to grab a spoon, taste it, see what it needs. Um, if it needs any more salt, pepper, hot sauce, then add in whatever you'd like, whatever tastes good to you. And then we're taking this off the stove. We're gonna wait for our rice and our french fries to be done. I also do this with spaghetti, so that's always an option as well if you have that available. So that concludes this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you decide to attempt this recipe on your own. And we'll see you in the next one.